Okay, so let's go through the 2022 paper. We'll start with the uh, non calculator first. Um, don't forget your front page with all your handy equations. You've got your circle, you've got your expansion for your trig, you've got a little reminder about differentiation and integrating of your trigonometric functions, but that's also quite helpful for further calculus because it's just reminding you that for differentiation, you times by the differential, and for integration, me you divide by differential, so handy little equations. So if it was me going into the exam, I would quickly just flick through this and have a you know just calm myself down. So straight line, that's okay. Log, like I said, log waves and further calculus, a lot of bang for your buck in there, get those learned there, okay. This is basically just a rearrange. Differentiation, dy by dx, remember, we multiply, take one away from the power, that's fine. Another straight line looks like it'll be an n tan theta though. Um, further calculus, so we've got a reverse chain rule. How do I know? Because I've got a high power or a fractional power. The minute I've got a fractional power or a high power, it's easier to use your reverse chain rule or your chain rule if you're differentiating. So remembering you're dividing by the derivative. That's your rule for this. If you are differentiating, times by the derivative. So, so far, nothing too tricky. Um, we see something like this, we should be thinking of our sine AB from the front page and also doing Pythagoras to solve these missing lengths as well. So again, not too bad. Another log question, excellent. Um, wave function, it looks like wave function. Oh no, maybe not. Um, let's uh, sub out the cos and then we'll be solving. So we'll sub out cos for one of these and then we'll probably try and make a trinomial and solve it. So, um, so far that's probably the trickiest one, one here. A bit of curve sketching. Um, remember, <clears throat> if it's next to the x, it affects the x's. Anything else affects the y. So these would affect the y's. This would affect the x. And all we do here is we're times in the y values by 2 and adding 1. Yeah. For the x values, we do the opposite of what's next to it. So here we'll be times in our x's by 2. Simple as that. Uh, complete the square. So take out your common factor. You know, half the middle term, take away the, the new term, the new the new units, fine. Again, um, look at the front page for that. Polynomials, so doing probably some synthetic division. Um, and then the circle, if you have what kind of question is this? So, well, anyway, CRE, take your head and CRE for this. And this is looking at the distance formula. A lot of the time it boils down to doing the distance formula. So, look, I would do that when I go into just to kind of calm me down. And you might decide you want to pick through and do a few different questions first. You might say, you know what, I love polynomials, I'll get them done. You might say, I love complete square, I'll get that done. Just anything to, to settle you down. Um, but there's a lot of good a lot of good pickings in there, okay? So let's go through with question one then. So this is a little, just to give me some space, I've just rearranged it. So question one, like I said, straight line. So we should be thinking to ourselves, P, G, and E, I have no idea why my pen has gone that thick. Maybe I've zoomed in too far. So what points do I know? Um, the equation of the line perpendicular to that, passing through negative 1, 6. Well, I know negative 1, 6 is my point, that's fine. And look, I'm just going to do a little quick sketch just to show what's happening. So determine the equation of the line, which is perpendicular to 5x plus 2y is equal to 7. Okay. Well, my gradient then is going to be the perpendicular gradient to this. So for my gradient, I'm going to actually not be doing a gradient equation. What I'm going to do is start to rearrange this to make y the subject. So negative 5x plus 7, and then I'll be dividing that by 2. There we go. So that's me got the gradient of that line. So I'd be saying that my n perpendicular is going to be equal to positive 2 fifths. And your equation of the line. Uh, always the same, y minus b, mx minus a, so I'll label that a and b. It's very important, you only put the points you're looking at in here, otherwise it's very easy to make a little mistake. So y minus 6 is 2 fifths, x plus 1 because it's a negative, so y, well I'll times it all by 5, that makes my life nice and easy, so that's 2x plus 2, and then I will do Add on the 30, so it's 2x plus 32. You'd be welcome to rearrange that to 2 fifths x plus 32 or 5. There'd be no problem with that at all. So let's just check the marking scheme. 
you're actually getting two marks for your gradient, so the rearrange and the imperp, and then your final mark for this. So look, again, with all these things, try and pick up marks if you can. I do think straight lines should be in the bag. It's very prescriptive. It's been, we've been doing this since the third year, but if you, you know, if you're thinking you're very overwhelmed, the least you could do here surely is work out the gradient of this line by rearranging, and then you should know that the perpendicular is flip it and change the sign. So without doing all this, you're actually still getting two marks for just doing that. So you look for those buzzwords, pick up what you can, and yeah, just take your time when you're going through these questions. Um, you know, when you're doing your notes, think of a strategy. And for me, the straight line, a little sketch, and PGE just helps me make sure I've got everything on the page. Okay, question one done.